Seven days before Christmas and Mother Nature gave to me storms for a busy travel week. Where there be delays, could they start today? Dude, where's the cold? Where will it snow? Could there be severe scaring the reindeer? Where will it pour at Grandma's door? Seven days before Christmas, what will Mother Nature do? The forecast on AMHQ. And good morning, everyone. Absolutely fantastic. The one who can't sing. Now you can breathe. Now I can breathe. Now I can breathe. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, everyone. You know what? Well, seven fact, days before Christmas, if you didn't catch that. that. Uh, you know, you have a lot to be thankful for. I know it's Thanksgiving and everything, but the, the, when, you, when you are going out and doing something that you're not used to doing or you got a little fear of doing <laughs> and you nail it, well done. Uh -oh. Well you're done, awesome. Jen. All right. All right. All right, guys. We got we a lot. Got we got you. a lot. We got a lot to cover for More you today. Uh, maybe uh, there's, uh, you know, today looking pretty good weather-wise, yes. right? But we got a yes. lot to come, so we got it all covered. All right, nothing smooth about this. Check out the wave action. So let's set that up, Jim. It started with the waves yesterday, but then it becomes a mess across the nation. Yep. Seven days before Christmas, and Mother Nature gave to me storms for a busy travel week. Where there'll be delays, could they start today, dude? Where's the cold? Where will it snow? Could there be severe, scaring the reindeer? Where will it pour at Grandma's door? Seven days before Christmas, and what will Mother Nature do? The forecast on AMHQ. Good morning, everyone. Merry Christmas. Fantastic. So we are seven days before Christmas. Jen's fans out here in the audience this morning, just a, just a few out there. A little paparazzi How to there. sing Happy. that intro. Nice job on that. It was a, more of a chance. Yeah, but dude, a chance <laughs> you, you nailed. You've heard me sing. You heard me practicing before yeah. the show. I have, and I have. And it wasn't we Kenny opted Chesney, for the but, but you nailed it. Uh, guys, we've got a busy time ahead, especially yeah. if you're going to be traveling later this week into uh, even next week, actually, around Christmas. And honestly, week. the days that are going to be busiest with people on the roads are going to be the, the days worst. the weather is the worst. Seven days before Christmas, and Mother Nature gave to me storms for a busy travel week. Will there be delays? Could they start today? Dude, where's the cold? Where will it snow? Could there be severe scaring the reindeer? Where will it pour at Grandma's door? Seven days before Christmas, what will Mother Nature do? The forecast on AMHQ. Good morning, everyone. Happy seven days before Christmas. Well done. Cool. Take care for I know. Third time's a charm. Seven days. <laughs> Uh, no, she actually work. nailed the other two as well, so I don't mean it like that. Um, but I'm glad they have you do those, and you know I don't mind doing the ones you have to build up and get a little deeper with. You got you know, the good, yeah. Boom, 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 the drums yeah. and things like that. Like when you tell people seven days, that's it for Christmas. <laughs> I don't we'll do that for you at the bottom of the yes, hour. Yes, we will. Hey, Jen, Jim, Chris, we're all here to get you ready and out the door. Uh, a lot of people, of course, start cranking up the travel. Yeah. Tomorrow. Well, really, right? the, the, the errands the and week. everything else, yes. right? I mean, you're at the yes. grocery store, you're That's trying true. to get all your last minute shopping, and then you hit the roads for travel. Um, hopefully, it'll go smooth. Bottle it up, enjoy it, whatever. I mean, it is going to be a great day today in the southeast, but then more rain comes in. Adding to this, you know, a lot of you have been thinking this. Wow, it's really been rainy, right? We've had a lot of rainy days, and we've got the numbers to prove it. So, Atlanta, Jackson, Nashville, all running well above average for not just amounts of rain, but the number of days it actually rains. We've had 86 rain rainy days uh, in Atlanta, that's above the average. Also in and to Jackson, 82, 97 rainy days in Nashville. Jim, this is for you, because remember yesterday, we were talking yeah, right. about the fact that Nashville, you're only about 10 inches above average, but we just had so many days where it rained. And I know it just, it came on the weekend all the time, didn't it? Now, this week, it's not gonna be oh, a weekend of events for the rain. It's gonna be coming in Wednesday into Wednesday night through the south, then it gets into Thursday into the southeast. And so we'll watch for the showers to come on in. Here's Little Rock. We're going to have a cloudy day on Thursday. Uh, we've had a very wet year. We've had 68.9 inches of rain, our sixth wettest on record. So we're in the top 10 anyway. The wettest year was back in 2009, 81.79. Are we going to get there? You know, it's only the, what, 18th of December, but that's, that's a lot of rain to make up. But either way, you've got a top 10 wettest year there. More rain coming this week. More rain coming on Thursday to the rest of the southeast. And as we watch this whole system and the pattern that sets up after that, the low moving up into the northeast behind it some cold air coming in. It's sort of like a skinny little dip in the jet stream that comes on down. So there could be a little bit of a wintry mix in spots, maybe in the Tennessee or the Appalachians, but honestly, there's just not a lot of cold air to be found. Even Friday night in Raleigh, we cool down into the upper 30s. But let's talk more about Florida, Jim, and that's where oh. really I think, you know, is most at risk for severe. It's still a week away. It's not until 
Tuesday of next week, so maybe you can yes. alter your plans. Um, there is that risk of thunderstorms going severe, especially in Florida on Thursday. So here's a look at the area. Orlando, Tampa, uh, down towards uh, Miami, and of course South Beach and everywhere in between Fort Lauderdale, West Palm, all in that zone. Let's start it on Wednesday, and we're going to see some showers out there popping up as we get overnight into early. This is 6 a.m. on Thursday morning. You've got thunderstorms now coming into the panhandle. Any of these can bring heavy rain. We get through the afternoon on Thursday. Now we bring in that I-4 corridor watching from Orlando to Tampa and down towards Naples and Fort Myers. And we've got thunderstorms out there heading to Miami as well. So this is your Thursday night. This is overnight Thursday into Friday morning. Still looking at the potential for thunderstorms, especially down here into South Florida. So all modes of severe weather are possible. Damaging winds or hail. The heavy rain is going to be a travel threat. There's also a tornado risk. Right now it's a three on the Torcon right across this area. Lots of jet stream help across this area. And so that's the reason why. Plus the fact that we will have some good rain coming in. It could be helpful. I mean, we do need the rain here in Central and South Florida. All right, but let's talk about the Northeast and look at the rain. Chris, it comes in on Friday, just the worst day. Some airports around the country that are just notorious for weather delays. Stephanie Abrams shows us a few that actually might surprise you. So there's the bad stuff, right? Let's talk about the best airport in the nation for flight delays. And according to Forbes, that is Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. More than 84% of the flights leave on time. Well, they got like five runways, right? They got you know, plenty of runways to take off and land. That's true. Now, the airport with the least amount of canceled flights in the nation is Seattle at the Seattle Tacoma International Airport. All right, that, that one kind of surprised me. me yeah. I thought it would be like Phoenix or something. Yeah, exactly. Good yeah. weather. <laughs> I'm sure Phoenix is up there too, Jim. Yeah. Uh, 2018 has been a record-breaking year of storms, and this week we're looking at the year's most incredible live moments. In this moment, storm tracker Charles Peake explains how he used drones during Hurricane Florence to take us above the destruction. So yeah. sad. I remember when he went out there, got that. That's actually where we set up for our live location yeah, next I morning. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. All right, Chris, over to you. Right. Some airports around the country that are just notorious for weather delays. Stephanie Abrams shows us a few that actually might surprise you. So there's the bad stuff, right? Let's talk about the best airport in the nation for flight delays. And according to Forbes, that is Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. More than 84% of the flights leave on time. Well, they got like five runways, right? They got you know, plenty of runways to take off and land. That's true. Now, the airport with the least amount of canceled flights in the nation is Seattle at the Seattle Tacoma International Airport. All right, that one kind of surprised me. me. Yeah. I thought it would be like Phoenix or something. Yeah, exactly. Good anyway. weather. <laughs> I'm sure Phoenix is up there too, Jim. Yeah. Uh, 2018 has been a record-breaking year of storms, and this week we're looking at the year's most incredible live moments. In this moment, storm tracker Charles Peake explains how he used drones during Hurricane Florence to take us above the destruction. So yeah. sad. I remember when he went out there, got that. That's actually where we set up for our live location yeah, next I morning. I remember that, yeah. All right, Chris, over to you. Right. Merry and bright and eco-friendly. We're talking about going green for the holidays. All right, home improvement expert Danny Lifford joins us now from Mobile, Alabama with a little bit more on this. Good morning, Danny. Uh, let's start with the lights. You know, occasionally uh, we get this case of Clark Griswoldtis, and we <laughs> want to go crazy with the lights, and that can use up a lot of energy. Is up. The lights are on. Now it's time to sit back and enjoy, except we need to be concerned about fire safety. You know, between 2012 and 2016, U.S. fire departments responded to an average of 170 home fires each year that were caused by Christmas trees. And that information was from the National Fire Protection Association. All I've got in my head right now is the Griswold family Christmas tree going <laughs> up when the cat bites the... Anyway, the in order to yes. prevent this from happening, yeah. home improvement expert uh, Danny Lifford joins us this hour once again. What looks to be a foggy mobile Alabama.